Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds which will be last weekend, June 23rd to the 25th. It was an okay weekend but y'all, Saturday I only sold three things and that very, very seldom happens. That's the lowest it's been for years, years in a single day of sales. But, you know, like everything else, and I have to convince myself of this some days too. Don't look at the little picture. Don't look at your day to days. Look at, you know, your seven day. If that's still <laughs> not where you want it to be, look at your 28 day. Look at your 90 day. Um, keep the big picture in mind. Um, because, yeah, I had three sales that day. Um, thankfully, a lot of what I'm going to be showing you, um, I had a really good day on Friday. So that helped. And then, y'all, I've had eight days in a row that my daily sales have far exceeded my daily goals. So, you know, just look at the big picture. Look at the big picture. And that's why I say, you know, keep listing, keep doing the things that you can control and sales will pick up. I had, for me, I think people are getting ready to start, um, school shopping, at least, you know, looking around, buying little things to entertain their children. Um, just keep listing, list a variety of things. You'll see in this video, I've got different things that I have sold. Um, so just do what you can do. I want to thank everybody who um, supports my channel. Please do go like and subscribe, make comments, even if it's those smiley face emojis, anything just to kind of boost that algorithm. Um, we also have links down in the bottom in the description um, to some of my storefronts. Um, anytime you go into them, I do get a small commission for like the next 24 hours. Um, I also have affiliate links for American Bubble Boy. They are selling tape now, and we love it. We love it. So definitely go check them out. Use my coupon code for that. List perfectly all of the other affiliate links that I have there. If you haven't done it and you want to try it, um, please use my code. Most of them, um, List Perfectly does give like a seven-day trial just to see if you like it. All right. I've done my commercial. I always forget done my commercial. Um, sorry about this. I have been fighting something for over a week now. I'm not sure if it's just a summer cold or this smoke that's coming down from the Canadian wildfires, but there's Robert and my other son, Daniel, has just been struggling with just congestion and yuck. Always something, right? All right, let me go ahead and show you what I sold because this is the most important most important part you know I can anybody can show you what they're buying you need to see what's selling for us not as many sales as normal but I did have a couple nice ones so it, it all worked out because financially this is our primary income so you know I got to be on it and what I've been doing y'all I really think this helps the most for me right now send offers and if your inventory is getting older like I have lots of stuff that's been listed forever I'm taking most reasonable offers and maybe some that I normally wouldn't have but I just need the inventory gone so that I can make space for everything that's still down here unlisted all right I had sales on three platforms um first only one sell that weekend was for Mercari. This is an MGM Mirage Bear plush, sold for $12. Did have a few on Poshmark, so yay for Poshmark. These Levi's Signature Carpenter Jeans sold for $12. An Aurora Purple Baby Penguin. I say this quite often, plush that are not the normal colors. The pinks, the purples, the yellows um, tend to do better for me. This seven inch plush sold, sold for $16. Men's Hawaiian shirt says, I think it was Adventure Wear Belize, um, size extra large, sold for $15. And then a lovey, 
Tigger Lovey from Dream International sold for $10. And then eBay. Mattel Kanga and Rue 6 inch plush sold for $10. This is the last pair. I picked these up at a yard sale. Um, a lot of times, check the dates on new in the package, men's and women's underwear. Some of them can definitely be a bolo. I want to say I paid $2 each. I had two of these. Finally got them sold. I had a return on one of them because in the picture here, you'll see she's wearing black, but the underwear was white. So I had a return on one of them. Luckily, they hadn't opened the package or anything. Um, but this second pair sold for $12.07. Now, I picked up quite a few of um, Hallmark ornaments at a yard sale recently. I paid a dollar each. Um, this was one of them. It is a keepsake ornament bringing home the tree with Mickey Mouse. Sold for $22.45. Not all... Not all Hallmark ornaments are worth picking up, so definitely always check the comps. I had checked several of these and just decided to grab um, quite a few of them because I knew I was going to make all my money back with a few of them, and I just love ornaments. They're so easy. Make sure don't ship them in a poly bag. Put them in a box. That's one of my pet peeves is I order my ornaments on my little tree over here and several times I've gotten them and they just throw them in a poly bag and the boxes are smushed. Yes, my ornament was fine, but a lot of people like to store their ornaments in the original boxes. Red Lobster Plush from Wish Pets, $19.97, sold for $10.45. Mattel Dog Plush, y'all. I took a $6 offer. Um, I got a sweet message from a mama that um, wanted to send this to her daughter. They had just had to put a, pup, uh, a dog down for age, and it, I guess it reminded her of the dog, so she wanted to send this to her daughter, so I obliged. Now, this is called Love Very. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. It was an organic baby doll probably picked up at the bins. I'm not quite sure. Looks like something I would always pick up. Most baby looking plush um, that are these type of dolls. It sold for $22.45. Now also I had a comment in one of my videos recently about my shipping. They felt, they felt like my shipping seemed too low and wanted to know why I have what I have. Now for me, if I ship something um, zero to four ounces, I've been charging $4.50 unless I have to use a box, then I charge $4.75. Um, the four to eights are $4.75. The nine to 12 is $5.75 and um, up to 16 ounces is $6.75. I don't lose money on shipping except if I'm gonna ship a 15 ounce package to Oregon or California. It seems to want to charge me just off this last update, $6.78. So I take a three cent loss, but I don't ship a whole lot out there. It seems Robert did a video or made a graph for me at one point that showed most of my sales, 50% of my sales are in regions near me and then 25% mid-America and 25% go to um, the West Coast. So I'm okay with the three cent loss on a few packages going out there that are in that 15 ounce range. Um, but I'm, I may be upping it. I'm waiting to see what this whole change is that's going to happen July 9th. But if I do, I'm only going to raise everything probably a quarter. But this next screen, I wanted to show the breakdown for just this particular item on why 475 works for me. One thing before I go to that screen, um, a lot of people use the um, calculated for everything, you know, so eBay charges your buyer retail, and I do that with everything over a pound. But for these, I just, I'm, I sell a lot, a lot of first class items, so I wanted to be a little bit more um, competitive 
with my pricing, but I still do make a profit on almost 99% of my packages. So here's the breakdown. This item sold for $22.45. I charged $4.75 because it's going to be eight ounces in that, that range. And the sales tax was $1.63, total $28.83. Then eBay removed the sell tax, minus $163. The transaction fee was $3.50. Um, the label was $3.66. So I charged $4.75. The label actually ended up being $3.66. And then I do promoted listings. 70% of my items sell on promoted listings. So this particular one was $2.31. It could be anywhere up to 8% for me. Um, and then, so my earnings on this was $17.73 for a plush that I probably paid 50 cents for at the bins. It works for me. I mean, I will reevaluate my shipping. I think I changed it maybe two years ago with one of the increases. I went from $4.25 shipping up to $4.75 and just, um, I'll just wait and see what's going to happen with this next round of updates with the postal service if if and it won't be that bad to change it i don't have business policies i've tried once to get it they scared me i left the program because i had like 180 screens that it wanted me to go through um and now it won't let me back in robert tried to get us back in and it won't let me back in and i'm not going to go out of my way to get eBay to do it because frankly, it seems every time there's an issue with free shipping getting added or anything like that, it's people who have business policies. I may be wrong, that's just my opinion. So I just really would rather me control the, the shipping as far as what I'm gonna charge. All right, hope that explained that. Um, Next item is another lovey by Baby Essentials. Um, an elephant from 2020 sold for $13.45. Y'all, this has been listed forever, forever, probably over 10 years. It was a sealed Metabots jigsaw puzzle from 1997. It fell into this where I dropped all of my old listing prices last month, 10%, and then I'm sending out really good offers and I'm accepting most offers that are reasonable. So it fell in that sold for $7. I'm happy with that. I'm still making a profit and I have room for more stuff. This person bought two of my bunnies by the Bay rabbits, um, paid $16 and 12 cents each. So $32 and 24 cents for these two plush. I'm not sure what that I'm looking at the breakdown it says refund eBay paid 20 cents don't know what that is all right this plush is another one of those been listed forever it kind of reminded me of the Tom and Jerry plush but it the only marking on the tag was STI so I you know I wasn't going to keyword spam had it listed for 40, got an offer. I think the first offer I've ever received on it and decided to go ahead and accept $20 for a, a small nine inch plush. I'm good with it. Carolina Blues Plus women's jeans sold for $15.13. Polo Ralph Lauren dungarees black pants sold for $19. Spark Create Imagine, Walmart, this little moose rattle plush sold for $8.96. Some lots of bread and butter here. Life is Good, Crusher Light Women's Shirt. I think it was came out of one of the bags that we've just kind of picked up at yard sales and stuff along the way. I'm slowly but surely going through them. Sold for $8, best offer. Yellow Smiley Face Plush. I had two of these. This is the second one to sell. This one sold for 
for a little six inch plush. I do really well with the smiley face plush. Ariat Rebar Mid Mid Ariat Rebar Mid Rise Women's Jeans sold for twenty dollars. Pink Llama Plush Inner American Products um, sold for twelve dollars and seven cents. Playmobil Green Dragon, y'all. I bought a huge, huge lot of Playmobil last summer at an estate sale. I mean, huge, several totes worth. And it's of the castle that is very popular. Nice high dollar. I just haven't made the time to put it together because it's completely apart. But I think this dragon ended up in something else from that lot. And I just listed it all by itself and it sold for $12 best offer. But it's been listed over a year. Cabbage Patch Kids. I pick these dolls up quite often at the bins. Um, usually list them, you know, eight, eight to ten dollars, except at a best offer of seven dollars on this one. Clark's Bendable Tan Sandals. Um, again, listed for a while. It went through my 10% reduction last month. Got an offer of ten dollars. It's out of here. Y'all, you see in a pattern here, I sold a lot of clothes that weekend. A lot. I want to say it was like nine or more between Poshmark and eBay. These are FUBU Men's Carpenter Jean Shorts, sold for $17.56. Another pair of jeans, Chico's Platinum Women's Jeans, sold for $14.00. And then I think my two best sales of the weekend was this. Robert picked this up at that church sale that we showed some footage from a couple of weeks ago. This is a silhouette cameo number one. I think it's four is the current version out. It's an electronic vinyl cutting machine um, sold for $50 best offer. We paid, I think, $1 for it. And this, this was in that high bid estate sale that I still talk about on occasion, but I'm really getting down to not very many items listed still. Um, but it's just advertising plush for the FFF Soccer League. This was France, sold for $52.08. All right, I'm getting ready to start taking pictures and getting some more clothes worked on for Robert. I've still got that stuff from that really cool lot that we shared with you guys of just all the items that we spent. You know, we thought one dollar, but I think they miscounted, so we paid a little less than two dollars. I have quite a few of them that I've set aside for me, and I don't think I've finished looking through all of it yet. So I'm going to work on that, get some more jeans processed, and then get on to list processing toys and all kinds of stuff I have made videos on already and they're ready to go. All right y'all, get to work.